online tutorial for our python programming course by our student professor mama jo subramanian from kalasingam academy of research and education we will continue to plot the uh, pie chart in our uh, programming here yes uh, i have pandas for importing my data set and matplotlib.py plot to draw the charts and stuffs i have the index to represent my data instead of the auto generated index yes now coming here plot dot pi if you see the previous video we depicted how to do bar charts bar chart being a two dimensional chart we need to give two inputs x axis and y axis to it and then develop but pi chart is actually a single dimensional chart so it requires only one input i am giving dv of runs descending if you see our data set our data sets will have something called as runs descending which will have the runs scored by each player in the series so that what we are going to represent in my pi number pi chart so that i have the db of runs descending and my label is going to be the player names db of player and shadow is equal to true is used to depict my whole pie chart should get some 3d view to have some shadows and all we have another parameter such as color we have another parameter such as explode explode will make a particular pie uh, chart pie uh, to come and uh, explode outside to come outside to give some more uh, a beautiful view we can do steps like that also this is actually a more simplest program and i can also give a title for my pie chart i say i say runs code by the players and i will say plot dot show to say to show my pie chart that is actually depicted and if you see this is the pie chart what we have obtained for and for each players i have obtained the particular pie value since we have small spaces here the player names have jumbled over it and this is actually an easier representation for pie chart and they can do more steps on that and more innovation on this next we will see another chart called as uh, uh, scatter plot a yes, scatter plot is also very similar to your bar chart as i have run the program let's just see the program first so scatter plot i will use the same database now coming here plot dot scatter it should have been plot dot bar it is since at that is all bar chart is also two dimensional scatter plot is also two dimensional so i'll give the two names db players db forest force number of force play and i want the color to be blue and alpha value i have changed to 0.8 to be more thick so i don't want more transparent i want somewhat thick i can have a maximum value of 1 also and my x label is going to be player name and y label is going to be number of force hit by the player and the title of my graph is going to be force hit by the players just the name change is plot dot scatter very simple and if you see i'll get a scatter plot with like this since the player names are more and the spaces are less they are actually jumbled over here and finally we will see our chart on uh, Line charts. Line chart is also very uh, simple. Just to say plot dot plot. D it is also two dimensional, so I will give two things. Db dot index the p1, p2, the other values, and db of force the number of force hit by the player, and that color should be in blue, and the label for that line will be force. Similarly, I will plot another line which is going to be having same db dot index, but the axis y axis will be db of six number of six here. and the line for for that will be in red color and the label for that line will be sixes i'll have x label as player index and y label as runs because fours and six commonly i will name it as runs and title of my chart is going to be fours and sixes hit hit by my by players and i have plot dot legend to so say what red color is fours uh, red, red red is six and blue is fours i can have a box like that to represent and i'll just say plot dot show to show my graph and if i run this you will get a beautiful line chart depicting that two lines are there so if you see uh, blue color lines stand for this box is called legend box so blue color lines stand for force that is this is force and so sixes i have represented using red color lines so with matplotlib and pandas you can make many number of charts and uh, i will ask i will assign you many tasks for doing this uh, using some learning algorithms to make more innovations and stuff thank you